Hello, today your doctor has asked you to complete a treadmill stress test. In this video, we will guide you through the process of the testing. This test will provide your doctor with valuable information about your exercise performance, symptoms, and some heart functions with exercise. Depending on the results of your test, your physician may make medication adjustments or ask for more testing. When you first arrive at the stress lab, a nurse will be there to check you in. Once you are checked in, the nurse will explain briefly what kind of stress test you will be receiving, the risks and benefits of the procedure. You will have an EKG machine record the electrical signals coming from your heart during rest and with activity. You will get an ultrasound of your heart twice, once while laying down at rest and once after your heart rate is high enough. This test can last approximately two to three hours. If you are having pain in your knees, hips, or back that would prevent you from walking safely on a treadmill, let the nurse know. If you have not used a treadmill before, the nurse will demonstrate how to walk on the treadmill. During the test, you will have electrodes attached to your chest. You will walk in place on a treadmill with increasing speed and incline. You will get an ultrasound of your heart before the test and after you have walked on the treadmill. The test stops when you reach your target heart rate or develop chest pain in a regular rhythm or become too tired and need to stop. Place both hands on the handlebar. Relax your shoulders with a bend at the elbow to keep tension out of the shoulders. Look straight ahead and not down when walking. Walk in a heel-toe approach. Stay in the middle of the treadmill and closer to the front of the machine. If you need to stop, please let the nurse know. Do not jump off the treadmill. Before we start, the nurse will explain the risks and benefits of the test. This test is done routinely, but as with every test, there are potential risks. The most common risk is chest pain. Other risks include dizziness, nausea, or rarely an allergic reaction to medications. The test can cause a heart attack. Although this is unlikely to happen, it's still a risk. Should anything occur, we have staff and medications to treat you. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to ask the nurses or the physicians in the stress lab. Thank you for taking the time to view this video.